So this is dye video number two. We're going to talk about stitching. I think I said we were talking about tying. We're talking about stitching. Um, one of the things that is super cool is that you can just use stitches uh, in with thread in your silk to create patterns of resist. Um, so for example, this one, they're little tiny flower petals that are stitched. Uh, this one is like a chevron pattern. Um, this one looks like some, you know, like a blingy gold bracelet pattern. Um, this one makes figure eights. Okay, so there are different patterns that you can uh, do using simply a needle and thread. And um, my pro tip for you is if you're going to do these, um, you want to draw out your shape first on your fabric before you start um, stitching. Because once you start stitching, it starts kind of bunching up and you'll kind of start to lose your shape. So that can either be like just a very, very light pencil line or maybe just... Um, some some dots right of where you want your stitches to be. remember those templates that I showed in class those would be awesome to use for this that's what I'm going to use those for now um, but anyway so you're going to do those running do these with running stitches okay typically they're running stitches and then when you get to the end of the stitch you're going to pull those threads tight um, you're going to gather the fabric and that gathering is where the die can't get into the part that's gathered and that's what then makes the pattern. So I'll show you this example of, this is called wood grain. Okay, again, Japanese, uh, the Thai, the Japanese um, shibori book, if you're interested, this these are in there. Um, you can see it's called wood grain, and it really does look like wood grain. And it's actually just rows and rows and rows of stitches, running stitches, okay? Um, each stitch is a quarter inch apart, and each row is a quarter of an inch apart. And so I did all of these rows of stitching, okay? So not stitch the row and leave the tail hanging out, not stitch, hang out, right? So I've got these threads hanging out. And then I'm gonna use those to very careful, easy for you to say, very carefully gather that section, okay? And it, it's got a really cool like texture feel to it. When you gather those up, um, you want to gather it tight, but you need to be very careful as you pull. You don't want to break those threads, okay? Um, so you can gather it up. And then when you dye that, again, the dye can't get in, and that's what makes the white texture pattern, all right? Um, all through the middle of this, these are all um, stitched as well, but you can see they're spaced further apart. And so you can see it's a different um, effect that it generated. And you can see here where I used two threads, right? All right, so that's a form of tying. Here's a really cool form of, or sorry, stitching, gosh. Here's a really cool form of stitching. Um, this you will see a lot in India um, and in Pakistan. These are, these are actually fabric that I bought in Pakistan. Um, you can see here, they are, little tiny stitches where the fabric has been wrapped around or the thread has been wrapped around the fabric right um in these tight little stitches and i'm going to pop one open for you here okay and what's really cool about them is you just like if you buy this you just take it and you pull and you see the threads pop off so they're all one go right the threads just pop off and then you can see the dye pattern that's left behind, okay? And if you look closely, this this hasn't been washed, obviously. You can see the um, ink marks where the pattern was marked out before it was stitched. So they're marking theirs out too, okay? And then um, once you remove, you know, a bunches of them, you can see that it starts to make a really cool design. So there's that, okay? Here's, uh, they're being used in circles. Here, in this case, it's being used to make just like a generic, pa again, this one hasn't been pressed. You could iron this if you wanted to, but you see in it not being pressed, it makes this really cool like boingy, springy sort of uh, pattern as well. So you can you choose to press this out and use it pressed or you could wear it, you know, as it is with a lot of texture. 
All right, so this is the second of our dye videos. The next one we're gonna talk about uh, resist and block dyeing.